You could be like every other visitor who comes to London and spend the day at Covent Garden, or... Or you can check out these seven London markets that we think should not be missed. Hi, America. And I'm Jordan. And we're your guides abroad. We've lived all over the world and feel most at home traveling. We're not just here to show you what we've done though, we will tell you how to do it too. And London's our specialty. We lived in central London for three years and in England for six years. So we have your back. And we love it. Before we jump in, no shade to Covent Garden. We go to Covent Garden, we have a nice time at Covent Garden, but it's just not on this list. It's great for a street show or grabbing a pint, but we like these markets for all their cool stuff. And that's part of the criteria we talk about here. So we're gonna cover a few topics. We're gonna talk about what to buy there, the location, a little bit of the history, the best time to go, the worst time to go, and a fun fact, because I love fun facts. Jordan loves fun facts. It's kind of my annoying thing I got. The first one is probably the prettiest one on this list. It is in central London. It's Leadenhall Market. It is right in the financial district of London. So very easy to get to. Jump off at Monument Station, because then you can see the monument and easily walk here. What can you buy here? Great question, Erica. You'll find <laughs> cheesemongers here, florists, like skincare people, English clothing stores, a lot of famous English brands here. Can you buy all that in London? If you know where to go. Plus old pubs and some place to eat. So it's a nice place to visit. You'll, it's more stores though, not like a true marketplace, but the location is absolutely beautiful. It's a cool place to check out. Leyden Hall Market is one of the oldest markets in London. It's founded in the 14th century. It is right in the heart of the city of London. This market has been featured in lots of movies for its historic Victorian look to it, and also its narrow passageways. And what's really cool is crowning the many entrances are elaborate stone pediments, carved with dragons, swags, shields, and other devices with a particular emphasis on the city of London symbolism. Ooh. I know, right? Very pretty place, great colors, does a great job, and that is why it's in so many movies. All right, fun fact, okay. It is named Leadenhall Market, because in the 14th century, there's a market that's part of Leadenhall Manor, and Leaden Hall had a lead roof. So hence, Leaden Hall Market. Literal. Yes, literal, yeah, very <laughs> literal. Yeah, they were not too clever there, I guess, at times. <laughs> Best time to go, it is open weekdays, 10 to 6 p.m. It's fun to go at lunch. It's probably gonna be busy, but go to the Lamb Tavern to grab a pint. It's a very old tavern. It's been around since 1790. And because in the financial district, you'll find all the finance people there going to lunch in that area. So it makes a lot of fun. A time not to go is Sunday or the weekend. If you think it's quiet here today, it's because it is. It is a Sunday. The market is only open during the weekdays from 10 to 6. Fun fact, a lot of movies were set here. You'll see this now everywhere when you're watching movies. Most famous is multiple Harry Potter films were filmed here. It is Diagon Alley, where the Leaky Cauldron is located. So it's really cool. You'll see that when you're, you'll see it there in the movie. We'll show clips of the movie. Also, if you watch the Willy Wonka trailer for the new Willy Wonka movie, it looks like the entire movie was filmed at Leiden Hall because the Willy Wonka store is in the market. I believe where Reese is located, right in the center of the market. Cool. So essentially the entire trailer is the marketplace. So maybe cool. you don't even have to go anywhere. Yeah. There you go, just watch Done. the trailer. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, number two is Mercado Mayfair. And this place is fun. It is busy, it is popping, it has great food. And so that's what this place is all about. It is a food market. It is not like a produce market food market. It is a prepared food market. But you can get so many different options, which is great because we have some slightly choosy, picky children with us. Uh, but you can get pizza, you can get ice cream, you can get ramen. Thai, lobster, sausages, drinks too. They got beer there. They got a German beer place. They have a place that just serves G&Ts. They have a crypt underneath it that's a wine bar. Up on the top is a roof terrace, which is actually I'm going to jump at. That's my fun fact. It's kind of fun to grab your food and then go up to the roof terrace, especially if it's a nice day. I will say, this is so cool. Yeah, I thought it, it was awesome. You walk in, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, it's beautiful because it's in an old church, St. Mark's Church that was built in 1828 and is actually nicknamed the American Church for quite a while because during World War II, the U.S. Embassy was nearby. Just recently, the embassy moved. But anyways, a lot of Americans went there, like President Eisenhower went there, Eleanor Roosevelt went there when she was the first mm. lady. So it was nicknamed the American Church. But due to the people not going anymore, in 1974, they made it no longer a church. Now it's this amazing food market. It is located on North Audley Street in the borough of Mayfair, which is a really nice, fancy borough to go to. It's best to probably walk there, right? Yeah. 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 Or take a taxi there to get closer to it. Yeah. Best time to go is lunch or dinner time. Yeah. It will be busy, but it's lively. I think yeah. that makes it fun. There's so many places to eat. There wasn't big lines at any of the places to go to. So I think it's fun to go during those times. If you're with family, go at lunch. If it's a nice romantic day, maybe go in the evening for something new and have some drinks and like spend quite a while there at the old church. Yeah. 
We went in between lunch and dinner time, and it was still busy, but it was not unmanageable by any go. means. I do do. It is Sunday and I am on Columbia Road right now for the Columbia Road Flower Market. This flower market is gorgeous. It happens every Sunday from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock. The easiest way to get here is take Uber or Lyft or a bus. There's also the Hoxton Overground Station, which is a short walk away. The flower market itself is just two blocks long. The narrow street is lined with flower sellers selling flower bouquets, bulbs, plants, everything you can imagine. But there is also like great coffee shops, pastry shops that are on that Columbia Road, plus antique stores. There's just really cool old English shops on that road. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to check out. For history, get this, sheep used to drive the pathway where Columbia Road is to get to the slaughterhouses at Smithfield. Oh, and Smithfield's like a yeah. very famous market, right? Yeah. That's the way. The stores you see there now are built in the 1860s and the community saved them from demolition numerous times. Best time to go is on Sundays. Yes. Sunday is the only day to go, but get there early. That's my big tip is get there like when they open at eight o'clock because you'll get the best selection. For those bargain shoppers out there, go around three-ish when the market's closing because all those florists are eager to get rid of their flowers. So you might be able to get a good deal. And a pro tip for you, you can haggle when you're there. It's fun to watch other people haggle and feel miserably. Yeah. I don't, I'm a bad hack. I'm like, would <laughs> but, you maybe take this? They're like, no. <laughs> but if you're buying like groups of flowers, try to get a better price for them. It'll be fun. So fun fact is kind of location. You go to the flower market, then you head over to Brick Lane and then Spitalfields, which we'll talk about later. Both of those are really good markets. Brick Lane is for people who love vintage clothing, yeah. especially over the weekend on that Sunday, you'll find a lot of vintage clothing people out there. It's a lot of fun. And while you're there, go grab a curry because Brick Lane is famous for Indian food. Delightful. There you go. All right, before we get into the next market, we have something free that you guys will want to download because it includes this next market that we're going to talk about. It is our itinerary day in London. It's a free download. It will help you navigate this amazing path that we would send all of our guests on when they came to visit. So it takes you through central London, seeing some of the best sites and yeah, it's a free download. And now yeah. on to number four. Is Borough Market, probably the most famous one in, people say it is the oldest market in all of London. It is home to trade chefs, mongers, and publicans. Mm -hmm. You'll find everything at this market. Also, you'll find a lot of crowds there too. Yeah. A lot of people go here for the prepared food and there'll be plenty of it, but make sure too, you can check out the produce stands, wine, cheese, and other very English artisanal shops. Yeah. Very good stuff. There's over a hundred stalls there. It is located on the South Bank in the borough of Southwark. The closest tube stop is London Bridge and the market entrance is right across the street from London Bridge tube station, making it super easy for you. History. All right, it is the oldest and largest market in London. It dates back to the 12th century, but some date it to 1014. The grand roof and buildings that you see today are from the 1850s. And the 20th century is mainly a wholesale market for green grocers. And today you can still see some of their old signs like the Lee Brothers potatoes. All right, so as we mentioned, this place is very busy. The best time to go is generally lunchtime, though it's gonna be super crowded. It opens at 10 o'clock, it's open from 10 to five. So you wanna beat the crowds together right at 10 or go there for an early dinner. Yeah, and the worst time to go is Monday because it's close. There you go. Fun fact, another movie one for you, in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter stays in a room that's over the market. So when you're in the market, you can see Harry Potter's room up above. Also, there's a historic pub that opens at 6 a.m., but you have to grab my pub guide if you're interested in that, click the link down below. All right, so just be prepared when you come for lunch. This is an experience, right? There's no tables, the lines are pretty long, so just be prepared. You'll wait in line, pick some good food, take a seat on a curb, and enjoy. This one is in our old stomping ground in the Royal Borough of Kensington, Chelsea. It is the Duke of York Square Food Market. It is on Saturdays, and it's only two block walk from Sloan Square Tube Station. Mm -hmm. So very convenient to go to. At this market, you'll find fine prepared food. Mm -hmm. Really great little food stall set up, serving everything from duck confit, which is a classic, to two pound oysters in champagne. Yeah. We can also get like crepes and burgers and everything, everything. you can imagine. Yeah. You'll also find a lot of sweets there, like cakes and chocolates and stuff like that, cookies, if you just wanna go over there for some dessert. So it's in Duke of York Square, which you'll see a pitch surrounded by a footpath around it. And there's a Saatchi gallery there. 
That building dates from 1801. And get this, during World War II, it was the site of treason trials for high profile German spies. I did not know that. Me either until wow. I researched Sachi Gallery. <laughs> Best time to go. So it is open only on 10 to four on Saturdays. Yeah. So put this on itinerary for a Saturday. And I think it's really fun to go for lunch. It doesn't get too busy because oh, yeah. it's so big. There's yeah. so many food stalls, you'll be fine. It's very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, grab your food, sit in the grass. All right, market number six. Thanks for hanging with us on this one. This is, gosh, such a famous market, but it's actually pretty great. It's the Portobello Road Market. This market is famous for antiques. One person said it's the largest antique market in all the UK, which is a bold statement. It was bold. not cited, so I'm not gonna repeat <laughs> that again, but you will find antiques here, arcades, bric-a-brac, fashion and clothing, fruit and veg, and food. Also, you can haggle at this market, but beware, because these guys are pros and you're tourists visiting so good luck with that yeah i wouldn't i'm not gonna do it it is located in west london's notting hill district of the rbkc or the royal borough of kensington and chelsea the nearest station is ladbroke grove notting hill gate tube station is about a 20 minute walk away history it dates back to the 19th century it started as a food market as many of these markets do and began selling antiques in the 40s and 50s the best time to go is 9 a.m when they open we recommend going on saturday at 9 a.m to get the best selection of antiques but every day it is open and they have different things on each day. Yeah, it's like different theme days. So exactly. you can check out the listing and see what day you might be interested in checking out things. We have the link down below. Friday is the second busiest day. Like, I mean, it's not bad that it's busy because yeah. you have the most stalls open, the biggest selection to check out. Yeah. Pete and I right now are on Portobello Road and it's Friday and there's an antique market day. Fun fact, Portobello, it was named after Portobello farm that started in 1740 and that farm was named after the battle of portobello that happened in 1739 and in 1999 i think there's a movie that took place in notting hill <laughs> just can't remember the name of it is it possibly a movie i made you watch multiple times when we were moving i blacked it all out so anyways <laughs> on to the next market you made it to the end thanks for joining us number seven is spitalfields market this is back over in the east end of london in the area of spitalfields christ church is a popular reason people visit this area but Spitalfields Market actually is connected to Covent Garden so both these markets were very popular they're big like wholesale grocers and then about 1991 the city decided to move them out of the city mm. so then they became completely different Covent Garden became like what you see today is kind of like a tourist area with restaurants but Spitalfield Market is still an artisanal market selling like it's great for like artists and local traders to sell things some things are kind of kitschy but you will find a lot of like homemade goods sold here also to a great place for like food trucks and restaurants and drinks. And it's next to the financial center. So that's when it's busiest is during lunchtime is when everyone comes over there and kind of raids it from the financial center. Uh, but it makes it a lot of fun. You can set a restaurant up above it all and just enjoy the scenery and do some really good shopping there too. I used to go during lunch from work. Did you really? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. There it is, yeah, very convenient. So the best time to go is eight to noon if you're trying to avoid those crowds or after three if you're trying to avoid those crowds. All right, this is a fact, but there's really nothing fun about it. Across from the market is 10 Bells Pub, which is also right next to Christ Church, so it's easy to see. Get this, the last Jack the Ripper victim came out of 10 Bells Pub that night and then her body was found right by Christ Church. Very gruesome, people who love Jack the Ripper. There's a lot of Jack the Ripper history in that area. Do a Jack the Ripper tour, which we have some links down below. You'll walk this area and at, at nighttime. I gotta say, we've done the Jack the Ripper tour yeah. right when we moved to London and it was great. Great, very gruesome, great history. And you get to know that area of London very well. It's very Don't cool. bring the kids. Don't bring the kids. All right, and once again, make sure you head to get that free itinerary download to take you on a one day itinerary through central London because it is so fun and I know you will love it. If you wanna watch another one of our famous itinerary days around London, check out our Greenwich one. We'll put that right here. Just click that. Keep watching this channel. Thanks so much. Thank you.